all right good day everyone so today we're gonna do another unboxing video and this time it's gonna be the sh monster arts monster x from the movie godzilla final wars but before we begin i'd like to invite everyone to please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell to get the latest updates on the hobbyist so yeah let's begin so this is a long overdue review and i know you know you, you guys must be wondering what happened to the hobbyist we've been gone for like literally like three months but yeah it, it's been <clears throat> we've been busy we've gone out of the country uh when we went back life happened i got sick family got sick i lost my voice for a couple of weeks but anyway we're back that's what's important and we're gonna do this review right here so yeah this is what the box looks like so at the front of the box branding information sh monster arts the machinations bandai namco i'm uh, sorry the machinations and then the the label i mean the figure itself monster x on the side nothing really to see sh monster arts monster x a barcode and all that so without further ado what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the box and see what the real box looks like okay so this is what the actual sh monster arts monster x box looks like so as you can see there's an imposing look of the figure here this is when monster x first appeared in the movie reminiscent of that pose so again this came from the movie godzilla final wars and then we as, as usual we have some branding information bandai namco to machinations bandai the godzilla logos and all that and the trademark information um yeah so really cool box on one side it just says sh monster arts monster x on the top oops same thing <laughs> it says sh monster arts monster x on the other side it says sh monster arts monster x with another pose of the figure right there and at the back it shows you what you could do with the figure some of the poses that you could do with the figure and of course that iconic you know uh, hand locking thing with godzilla but anyway um without further ado what we're gonna do is we are going to open the box and see what the figure looks like okay so out of the box this is what we have we have the monster x figure and we also have an extra pair of hands so it's if you if you notice they look quite the same except this one is more split splayed if you will and that enables monster x to do that iconic grappling pose that it did with godzilla anyway it's kind of like a recurring team now with uh sh monster arts but uh, i'm quite concerned that you know this is a hundred bucks and you only get a figure and an extra pair of hands i mean they could have added a tamashi stand at least or probably let those eye gravity beams that uh, Monster X used to fire in the movie. So, you know, something to, you know, get us pumped up or something. Because it, it, it's an expensive figure. It's like a hundred bucks, even more, like a hundred twenty, almost a hundred twenty, hundred twenty-five. And you're basically getting a figure and an extra pair of hands. And moving forward to what it looks like for me my initial impression here is that it's not even impressive i mean it's not even premium because if you look at the colors here it's different it's not even consistent the, the paint application isn't even consistent the the scope i mean the the technology that they used here it's flimsy as you can see out of the box it's not even able to hold the pose of the tail as you can see there they could have added at least some ball joints for a hundred bucks I mean god look at that I mean honestly 
if if you look at it on the side, you know, it, it wouldn't even even support its own weight. See? And this is out of the box. It wouldn't support its own weight. They could have at least fixed that by, you know, adding some weight on the feet. See? Wouldn't even hold its pose. I mean, if Bandai, I mean, if there is gonna be like a bootleg Monster X figure, I tell you, this looks like a bootleg to me. I mean, it's not, I don't see SH Monster Arts quality here. And they're not really selling this for 20 bucks or 30 bucks. They're selling this guy for for a freaking hundred and twenty dollars. And for me, that's just nuts. Anyway, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, and 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 you know, the the paint application is just horrendous. It, and this is the first time I'm even saying this for an SH Monster Arts figure. And if you look at the painted details, I'll just give you like a close-up of that. If you look at the painted details, it's not even consistent. This thing is different to this color. I mean the tail. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this color is different to the color that they used for the rest of the other details on the tail and correct me if I'm wrong but when I watch the movie all of these are colored the same way they don't have difference I mean that kind of a shade of difference on both detail but here on the figure the colors are discerningly different Anyway, yeah, so paint application is really bad. The articulation right out of the bat is really bad. And that's kind and that's really the 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 downside of using all of these ball joints, especially on a figure that's top heavy. So you really have to, you know, I, I think this is really a design issue. So I mean on its own since it couldn't really hold its own pose. I have no idea how it will support the whole of Godzilla right here. So I am it's even heavier than Monster X. And given that you know how this thing poses, it's almost impossible for you to do that without having some sort of support anywhere in the figure and that's where i'm that's the thing i'm 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 i'm, I'm that's the, that's the thing that i'm saying earlier is that you could have added something more than just an extra pair of hands to do that pose at least and to do more poses with it like i don't know probably you could add an, an extra waist for the figure to be attached into or something so that it could actually pose well as you can see it even pops off really easily anyway um so yeah i mean if you want to look at the articulation of it all of it is basically ball joint so there's ball joints here and then there's a ball joint on the neck on both sides of the neck there's also a ball joint on the shoulders and you know on the elbows the wrist is actually made of two ball joints as well the ab crunch is actually two ball joints there's a lot of ball joints actually here so there's another ball joint on the hip it's reminiscent to how they, they implemented it with sh figure arts uh and then again there's i guess this is where the mistake happened and that's because they tried to hide most uh, they wanted to make it as fluid as possible as you can see here there's no hinge joint on the back of the knee and they could have this is probably like a prototype on, on a new design but yeah it, it doesn't work buddy i mean for, if i were you you should have sticked with what what works and that's a double hinge on the knee anyway 
yeah and then of course there's another ball joint on on the ankle area there's actually two so they like implementing double ball joints instead of double hinges and the thing is with ball joints and as you can see there ball joints tend to loosen over time and in this case it actually loosened up really fast considering i i actually just opened the thing in less than an hour but anyway as you can see it doesn't support its own weight without having a perfect balance and that's because the head is pretty big so it's a bit top heavy and that's because of the design of the figure one way they could have corrected this is one they should have put more weight on the foot two they should have implemented like a double hinge on the knees and three they should have added more ball joints on on the tail because now what happened is this thing is too heavy because the there is some bigger pieces here and it's thicker as well so one it couldn't hold the pose which is an sh monster arts like and two it looks kind of goofy whenever you pose it because where it balances it's pretty hard so for me i mean as a collector as someone who we i mean for everyone else who's gonna buy this other than kids you're probably gonna use this for for stop motion or for posing it in a diorama and how can you do that with a flimsy figure like this so if you ask me i'm really sorry uh, that i had to say this but sh monster arts really blew it on this one and 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 it couldn't come on a worse time when Hia Toys is starting to, you know, be very popular because they are offering figures that are much cheaper than this one. I mean, you can just imagine, Hia Toys King Ghidorah is cheaper than this figure. And it's a much bigger figure. It looks way better than the SH Monster Arts, at least from the stills perspective. And, you know, it's cheaper than this one. So that tells you a lot. And, and I think that's kind of the reason why, you know, people are moving away from SH Monster Arts. But I hope they turn things around because, you know, they, they perfected the whole sculpting thing. And they're really good at it. And, and especially the articulation they're really good at those departments so you know don't fix something that isn't broken i mean i don't i don't get it you don't have to hide all of this all of the joints just to make it look like an x plus or whatnot it doesn't have to be that way you have a different market so you, you, i mean if they're listening at least you know do something about it on your next figure I, f I hope that they would re-release this thing into something that's SH Monster is worthy. Because this one, honestly, my 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 honest take on this, it's 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 like a bootleg SH Monster. Is. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's it for our review. And before I end this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of our subscribers, all of our viewers. I know we have been away for quite a while and uh, it really is um, it really you know it's it's really heartwarming to know that all of you guys are still watching the channel all of you guys are still supporting us and it really means a lot I, I really thought back there that you know it, it's gonna be it's gonna be over for us because you know uh, re life really hit us really hard but yeah we're back and hopefully the momentum picks up uh, again uh, I I'd like to take this opportunity also that we are going to you know we are gonna branch into more hobbies so if you've been to our Facebook page you probably noticed that I've been doing a lot of birding recently and that's because I really couldn't talk that well in the past you know couple of months my voice really hasn't been really good <clears throat> but it's 
now okay. <laughs> and yeah, we've been busy and everything. But yeah, now we can focus back on what we do best. And thank you guys for supporting our channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. And of course, if you haven't done so already, you could also find us on Facebook. Uh, and, and, and that's the hobbyist. You could also check our Instagram account, the underscore hobbyist. So yeah, again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.